Britain asks US to stay loyal to Iran and deal terror in FNA British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson reiterated in a statement London's support for the Iran nuclear deal, and called for a similar position by Washington. Johnson on Tuesday held phone calls with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif to remind the benefits of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA for all sides. His statement on Wednesday noted that Britain, France and Germany are clear that Iran has upheld its nuclear commitments. Johnson said that Iran nuclear deal was a crucial agreement and Britain supports the deal, stressing the importance of all parties' continued commitment to their undertakings. I remain steadfast in my view that the nuclear deal was an historic achievement that has undoubtedly made the world a safer place, Johnson added. In relevant remarks on Wednesday, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani underlined that Washington's decertification of the 2015 nuclear deal will harm the U.S. and could even bear some benefits for Iran in certain areas and under specific circumstances. If the U.S. makes a mistake and withdraws from the nuclear deal, it will only harm itself as we have different ways ahead and will choose the path that serves the interests of our government and country and will have no problem for attaining our goal and paving our path, President Rouhani said, addressing a cabinet meeting in Tehran. Noting that the countries which have negotiated with Iran Britain, Russia, France, Germany and China the EU and other world states support Iran, he said, if the U.S. makes this mistake, it will act against its own national interests and prestige. The U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal could even benefit us in certain fields and under certain circumstances, President Rouhani said. Also on Wednesday, Secretary of Iran's Expediency Council E.C. Mosin Rezaei described U.S. President Donald Trump's threats to Tehran as slogans, stressing that any new sanctions against his country will first harm major international firms and investors. Trump will face big problems in Europe and Asia by implementing any new sanctions as the global economy can no more afford new sanctions, Rezaei said. Noting that Trump's measures against Iran will harm the global economy and major international investors more, he said, therefore, everyone is displeased with Trump's remarks, and his measures and sanctions will be nothing but mottos.